Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very filled daily grind planner video. I'm so excited. We have a lot of cool stuff happening. So if you haven't seen, they have a new uh, collection coming out, the Lux collection, and it's going to be a bunch of planner covers and things like that. I don't have any of it yet, but you can check it out on their Instagram. I cannot wait to receive it and share it with you, show you what it looks like. Um, should be arriving soon. Ah, can't wait. Okay, so today we are doing the planner setup for the first week of January, and I already did a planner setup for the goal setting portion of it, of figuring out my goals, and I have something really cool to share with you. So, um, in the previous video, I'll link it if I remember up here. Yeah, it's this corner. Um, I did all of this and planned some things out and did some vision setting and all of that. Um, one thing I need to update is I already reached 5,000. What? Oh my God. Thanks for subscribing, you guys. That's amazing. So I've updated this to 6,000 for January. Let's just see if it can grow that fast. Who knows? Okay. But anyways haven't filled any of this out yet I will fill these out later with like this usually I do for like content and I'm also going to be doing some decluttering in our house so maybe I'll do like content ideas and decluttering um things but I lots of pages to fill out we're gonna ignore those today today we're gonna focus on these daily pages because I just did something you guys and I'm gonna share it with all of you if you want it so I created a Canva template that will fit here. So you don't have to write your goals out every single day because that takes the most time. It just feels like it's the drag on me filling this out. So I don't know if it's the same as you. Everything else about this planner is perfect for me, but filling this part out every day just seems to take longer than it needs to. So. I have a little video that I filmed of me uh, setting this up and going from this into this. And I printed it on sticker paper. So now here's the magic. I haven't even put it on one yet, so we're going to see if it works. But um, I measured everything out and kind of looked at it and lined it up. But all you have to do is cut it out and take it off the sticker paper and stick it on. And I probably would stick all of these on, you know, for the month ahead of time. All right, let's quickly go over the Canva template before I forget and before we see how this works. So in the Canva template, first you'll need to make a copy of it because you can't edit in the one directly. And then you can go ahead and write in all your goals. Once you have all your goals, then you can highlight them. I've locked everything else so you just highlight what you've written and copy and paste it and pull it over to all of these different boxes. I have made eight sets on this page so you can just print off as many pages as you need for the month. Once you have everything set up, go to the upper right corner, click share, download, change it to a PDF and then export it. Then you can print it from your normal printer. I'll link the sticker paper I usually use below. So in Canva, it's really hard to make exact boxes. So the boxes are a little bit wider than these ones, but they line up. And I like lining up things like this. So I did it a little too far over. Luckily with sticker paper, you can just bring it back up. Right there. You could leave a little extra cut space in case you don't line it up perfect but look at that <clears throat> excuse my voice I lost my voice this week my kids have had a cold and they finally gave it to me but look at that so I put all that down and it's there so I have this as a canva template you will have to have a free canva account you do not need pro and then you just go in and do what I said in the video just a second ago you do all this copy it over and then you put it as a PDF and print it and it's really simple and then you see how quick that was. So now that I've got that, I'm going to decorate it because that's what I do. So since it's going to be 
you know, the first week of January, we're still in winter. Let's use this new cozy winter sticker book from Kesthetic Plans. It releases January 3rd as well. I have links to both uh, Daily Grind and Kesthetic Plans down below. Daily Grind, I do have a code in case you're interested. It's Amy Plans Things. It saves you 10%. Kesthetic Plans, I do not have a code for, but I do have a link. So I appreciate if you use those. It helps me out at no extra cost to you. But today, for the first day of January, let's use... Hmm, which theme do I want to use? I think I want this blue theme. And I love the Kesthetic Plan stickers because she has some of them already pre-layered. And it makes it so quick and easy to just decorate. Like, look how cute that is. Super fun. Okay, we're going to add some snowflakes like up here. And then a few boxes, I think. Will the, this is going to take a little extra time if these fit. But, oh, look, they do. Okay, we're changing the colors here. Okay, little circles. This is just going to take a moment. I've seen some people use tweezers for this, and I never can get it lined up. Never, ever. Just I can't make it work. Maybe I have bad tweezers. I don't know. If you guys have a good set of tweezers that you use for stickers, let me know and tell me what they are. Okay, so I don't decorate my planner every day, but it certainly, I mean, I decorate my catch-all planner for every week, but I don't decorate this one every day, but it certainly is fun to set it all up and make it super cute. So we're also going to put some boxes for the top three movers. Mm, they aren't going to fit all the way, so let's just not do that. <laughs> How about we grab one of the blue Daily Grind highlighters instead and make our own boxes and spaces. So we're going to go like that and we'll do this one. And then we don't quite have space, so I'm going to make this one a highlighted spot. And what I like to do is outline them. By the way, if you love the Daily Grind pens, um, but you use black all the time, I found the same pens on Amazon in a 10-pack that are just the black ones. And that's what I use mostly. So that's cool. Because I love this 0.5 tip. It's amazing. Okay. So do we need any more decoration on this page? Mm, let's put a little game plan in. I don't know what we're doing yet. But it's going to be New Year's Day. So let's put something on here. And of course, of course, some other little decorations. Look how cute those are. Okay, this little mug is going to go over here by the to feel amazing. Okay, I think that page is done. So let's go ahead and do maybe one or two more pages in this setup video. Let's see. I'm going to give this one a little extra side space just in case I don't line it up perfectly. But I think it worked out pretty well, you guys. Let me know what you think. Okay. Okay. 
And I like turning it sideways, as I said, so I can, oh my gosh, sticker decided to jump down. Um, so I can see where these lines are to make sure I'm lining them up in the right spot. Yes. All right, and so by the way, my goals for the month are to declutter the kitchen, make 750 on Etsy because I have a planner printable shop, but this thing I have for you guys for free. Um, if you sign up for my new email list, I'll only email you about daily grind stuff. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that before. You'll get this from an email list. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, implement exercise routine. I'm a mom. I was trying, I was about to say new mom, but no, he's one and I've got a five-year-old, but I never really got back into exercise other than just walking, um, after having him. So I'm just trying to like really get that strength training back in. I'm on my feet all the time. I'm moving. Cardio is not an issue, but strength training, um, decide on and write down my new routines because I haven't really had a routine for a while. So I just need to like re-implement those as well. Read a book, do the dream life blueprint, which just arrived. Oh my gosh. I haven't even looked through it. You guys, let's do that too. Um, <clears throat> get my taxes done, get it done early, 100 ounces of water a day, family prayers before dinner each night, and reach 6,000 on YouTube. So let's just take a really quick look here. Oh my gosh. So this is also from Daily Grind, if you weren't aware. And I decided to try it out because it's something else that Daily Grind offers. I don't know much about it. I don't know what my thoughts are about it yet, but I'm going to go through it and do this workbook and see what I think about it. And I will share that process with you over time, but I probably won't share everything with you because it is a workbook and it's probably pretty personal at time as well. Um, so yeah, there are 10 different chapters and it's looking at how you can create your own dream life. All right, so it has stuff on this page too. I'm just not pulling it back and forth over and over again. Okay, so a lot, I just love filling things out too. So this is awesome. But trying to figure out what I think. It's really big. Um, but I think a lot of people have had a lot of success with this. So I'm really excited to go through it. Um, lots of things. Picture this. Let's start here. How would you describe your current situation? What you're most proud of, what you're most self-conscious of. This is cool. The big 10. This is already filled out. Oh, there's one to fill out here. So super cool. And it goes through like what's really important to you, what your drivers are, and what your long-term goals need to be because of it how you can reset your habits glow ups this is cool guys i don't quite know what to say about it yet because i haven't done it but i'm gonna work on it for this next month and see what i think and i can certainly make a video talking about it and my experience with it afterwards let me know if you're interested um this is also available on the daily grind site so go there to get it if you're interested. All right, getting back to this. I think this video is probably getting really long because I'm just rambling. Um, so let's just do one more. Let's just decorate this page and then we'll call it good for the planner setup. Uh, let's do flowers. Flowers are always nice. I probably should stop rambling because I'll probably wake up tomorrow and not be able to talk again. But, you know, sometimes I just get chatty. Okay. I'm never up at, well, I'm always up at 4 a.m., but I never have a game plan at 4 a.m. My son usually feeds and sometimes goes back to bed. He just had an ear infection, so everything got thrown off um and we're needing to get back to a normal routine but as I'm filming this he's on day three of antibiotics 
and so I'm not sure he's a hundred percent better yet so I'm not gonna push it yet but those 4 a.m. wakings have become normal but it's really just with him by 5 30 or 6 is when I'm doing my own stuff if he goes back to bed okay Maybe one more flower on the other side to keep it kind of even. Let's do it this way though. And we can save this little bit. Okay, so let me know down below, are you the type of person who just fills this out without decorating it or do you like decorating it? I decorate it when I have extra time, but then if I'm really busy, um, this is the planner that does not get decorated because it is super useful goal setting like all of that i don't um necessarily need to decorate it whereas some of my other stuff like my creative journal is a creative outlet and its purpose is creativity and memory keeping but the main reason i do it is you know to have fun and decorate and things like that but yeah so here are two pages that I've set up for the first week of January and lots of other stuff that I talked about remember um if you sign up for my email list which will be in the description um you will get access to the canva template for this so you can just stick on your goals so if that's of interest to you, make sure you sign up. I will not email you other than Daily Grind related things. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.